Lego Luigi time. On the table, Lego Luigi is finally here. It's Squirrel Stampede, and this is Dan. Oh my, there is so much to build for Lego this month. I've got three great sets today. I've got Luigi's starter course, I've got a tower, and a mystery pack to open. We've got a lot to do, so here we go! Squirrel Stampede! And a squirrel eye. And a so here, finally, Lego Super Mario Adventures with Luigi. Set number 71387, 280 pieces. Much like the Mario starter course, the same kind of style box. These are the all important starter course boxes to get. If there's anything to pick up, it's this set. And pretty good lineup of characters in this one with Bone Goomba, Pink Yoshi, and Boom Boom. Plus, of course, your start pipe and goal pole. Then you can go on to all the expansions. Inside the box, a small quick start guide to get you going. Bag one, bag two, there's three, four, five, and a six. And we finish at seven, seven bags. I'm a and what must be Luigi in his box. <laughs> there is Luigi! Freshly out of his box, very similar to Mario. Okay, a little bit of a different mustache there and the hair. Uh, maybe a little more poofy than Mario's hair. We'll see as we go along. The only downside again to these sets is everything is mostly on the app. We've got a quick start guide to kind of give you an idea of what's going on, how to repair and work your Luigi. Look at all these sets that are about to hit. Many of these already in our possession. We've got the Bowser's airship coming up at a certain point. Lakitu Sky World is here. I think I still need to pick up Toad's little Ferris wheel contraption, whatever that is. And of course, 10 new collectible characters for Series 3. I've got one to show today. And can I interest you in fine print? Ooh, many pages of fine print. So I noticed the app has been updated, and in fact, my map is gone. Everything has disappeared. What happened? All my Series 1 sets. Oh wait, there they are. They're coming back finally. Uh, for the longest time, They've been not there, but here they are, slowly coming back. I don't know what's going on here, but I guess it's kind of a big reset for Luigi, right? Let's see if we can reconnect Lego Mario. He's making noises. Is he connected? Technical difficulties here. Okay, let's try again. Lego Mario needs an update. There's always an update. So it looks like my Mario is refusing to pair. Right now he gets locked up in the third dot level. Hopefully Luigi's going to work out. Let's see what happens over on the new Luigi set expansion screen. And there is our little Luigi. But what's gonna happen? Okay, bag one. Let's find bag one. There's all Luigi's clothes. And his ears. Okay, Luigi looking more like Luigi now, right? With a few plates and a couple extra ears and buttons. And will Luigi turn on? That's the big question, right? Oh, I think we need to load batteries. Okay, Luigi should be good to go now. Now we've got to at least try to get Luigi logged in, right? I bet there's an update too. Lego Luigi. Oh, how cute! Sounds like Luigi. All right, connect. There he is. Oh, right on! We've got Luigi connected, I believe. He's got the four dots. Lego Mario needs an update, so Luigi's gonna get an update too. Hopefully it won't fry his brains like it did Mario's. Okay, I think the update is complete, maybe. There's lots of thinking going on so far. This is a major reboot, right? Uh-oh. I think Luigi's stuck just like Mario right now. This is not good. We need an update to save these guys. Okay, let's just put the app down for a minute. We can still do two-player, though, without the app. 
Over here there's a quick guide on some of the things that Mario and Luigi will do together. And to get them to pair up, just first start them up. Lego Mario time! Lego Luigi time! And then simply press their Bluetooth buttons to activate. Hello Luigi! Hi Mario! That's cute, they address one another. So some of the things that they can kind of do together in two-player is synchronized jumping. Let's see if we can get that going. So you gotta just be precise in their jumping. Another trick is to do some flips, but you really have to be coordinated for that one. Oh, I got it! They even clapped for me for a second there. Alright, so I got that going. So even though I can't seem to get them paired into the app today, we can still have quite a lot of fun. Let's test out Luigi with some of the new materials. Did Mario just ask if he was okay? That's pretty funny. And then there's the brick material. You can see on the screen, brick, and then sand. Pretty good. Okay, well let's start building some more. So we can move on to bag two now, and build our bone Goomba. And a little bone Goomba built. Is it me, or do we now have a foot stepping forward, a left foot going forward? That's kind of a cool feature. It used to be a little confusing sometimes, figuring out which way the feet are going. Bringing in Luigi here. Can he do something to the bone Goomba? Now we can build on our first course here, so we'll construct our new pipe. And our flagpole. It's a little bit uh, bended, but it should work. And we can construct our first starter course of the day. So now we can give Luigi his very first adventure. Over to the pipe and on out. Here we go. 59 seconds. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Okay, we gotta take out the bone Goomba, right? We could do this all day, collect some coins, right? Okay, that's probably enough. Alright, our first adventure set to go. Now let's add more detail to the level. We're going on to bag three. Lots of stuff in here, I believe. That must be pink Yoshi. Alright, a lot of things built with bag three. We've got our pink Yoshi. I wonder how close pink Yoshi is to green Yoshi from the first series. They look pretty much the same in build. Nice to have two different colors of Yoshi now. And we built a couple gear platforms. We'll get into these a little more as we continue on with the starter course. What happens when we hit the little Yoshi platform? Oh, how cute. We've got Yoshi's on Luigi's screen there. A little tricky to ride Yoshi, though. That never really worked out. But we can continue on now with our build. It's now saying bag four. Where is bag four? Over here. We may open bag four and construct some platforms now.
A few more elements built, more sand desert, these little weird flamey tiles, and a couple platforms to stand on. Now we can move on to a really cool contraption in bag five. This will be fun to build. Bag five. Okay, whatever this contraption is, it is really nice looking. Let's try to figure this out really quick. There is a whole lot of rotation going on. There's a whole lot of levels going on. I suppose Luigi's going to come up to this thing and, um... Oh, it starts something off. Oh my, oh my. Well, yeah, that's interesting. We'll try to add this on to the starter course as we keep moving along, right? Well, the next bag, moving along quickly we are. I think we are going to get to another little tower. And finally, Boom Boom is in there too. Bag six, here we go. And there is the Boom Boom character build, another ferocious turtle for Mario and Luigi to attack and fight. What do we got for a little feature here? Oh, that must have hurt Luigi. Woo! That's a lot of hearts. Very nice little character build though. And now we can continue on and finish up bag seven. The final bag is actually just some pieces to increase your starter course. We've got various paths of brick road, sand, and poison swamp. So let's build up a starter course I think and see what we can do. Okay, there's not really an official setup to the starter course because it's obviously make your own and create your own. I kind of tried to go off what I saw on the back of the box, maybe? There's lots of gears involved with this set and I think that one of the intentions is to have this platform interact with this platform where Boom Boom is up on top. If you move the platform in a correct position you can actually catch it onto Boom Boom's tower and then rotate him. Maybe even get him to fall off, but it's kind of tricky so I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this. We'll just put a Bone Goomba here for some coins and we'll try a quick run with Luigi going through. Alright, so let's give Luigi his first starter course run. Ready to go? Hangs out in the desert for a little while. Well, what do we get for a coin block? Ah, a lot of coins. Identified as a brick landscape. Some coins. And this thing is really tricky, so you can kind of place them up here. And, oh well, we'll have to do this, I think, to kind of rotate Boom Boom around. And we'll just kind of pretend to knock Boom Boom off down. Yeah, we got him. With 15 seconds to spare. And then on over to our flag. It's Luigi time. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty fun. What other things can we do? 
Okay, here's another fun idea off the back of the starter course box. We've got Boom Boom up on a tower, the scale tower, and I placed a Buzzy Beetle here because it balances better with the Bone Goomba. If I were to place Yoshi here, they would just crash to the bottom. So this is a good balance right there. Any character about the scale of the Bone Goomba should work. So let's give two player a go. We'll bring over Luigi and I think they should activate together. That's right, they've each got 90 seconds now to get through this little activity. I'm not exactly sure what to do here though with the scales. You're gonna get hit in the head with a Bone Goomba. Maybe you want this guy to go low and then you can kind of go under and then maybe this goes like that. It's a little bit of a weird contraption, but it's kind of fun. And we'll knock down Boom Boom again. And I believe they can share in the kill. Right on. So a team two player kill. Got some coins. And then finish on home. Oh, Mario's got seven, six. He's got to get to the pole too. All right. And we've accomplished a two-player mode. Pretty good. Just kind of a weird course on that one. We do have another set to add on today, though. We've got a very tall tower set with LEGO Super Mario set number 71388 Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower. Seems like a really good one to add to the starter course because now we have a little more tower abilities. Over on the back of the box, you can see it kind of added into the starter course, too. Inside the box, a very, very crinkled quick start guide to the tower. Bag one, bag two, bag three, and four. Oh, sorry Mario. So let's get this tower constructed. And constructed a small little crowbar. which you can get coins from. Oh my, look at this crazy tower. We've got some height to it. I like the layered look of the brick and some of the green brick too. The mechanics of Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower, pretty interesting. It is placed on a very possibly unbalanced base. Just a simple movement of these panels will cause tippage. And so when Luigi is going, let's start a timer for Luigi just to make it official. And then Luigi will start pounding the side, and you can do this two-player too. Mario and Luigi causing Sumo to eventually crash to the ground. Oh, we knocked the whole tower on that one. And once again, we will defeat Boss Sumo here. So that's a pretty fun one. I like how tall this tower is. Oh, I forgot there's a star back there. You may also use the star to knock out Sumo. As a good way to play too. That just leaves us today with a series three mystery character pack. I wonder who we will find. I can't believe we're already on the series three. What's going on here?
something blue. Any guesses? Anyone want to take a guess? It's a swoop! A swoop bat! I think we built a swoop in uh, Boo's Haunted Yard. Was that the one? Other Series 3 characters to look for. We have a 1-Up Mushroom. Nice to have some items included. An Amp. Oh, I like that Amp and the Scuttlebug. Another Parachute Babom, or a Parachute character, I should say. Uh, a Galoomba. And uh, another Crowber. A Torpedo Ted. Bony Beetle and a Boo. So, more to collect and build. Let's construct this one up. And there would be our little swoop build. If you did not get a chance to get a swoop in the last year, now's a chance to pick one up in the Series 3 blind bags. Nice little stand gives the appearance of flight. And I believe we can pretend to even knock the swoop down. We're really bleeding the swoop of coins right now. Poor swoop. Oh, there we go, finally. All right, pretty good update with LEGO Luigi today so far. We just have to get the app running again, figure out why my map has disappeared. Might just have to do a complete hard reset. We may be just a little bit early and maybe an update's coming to fix that, so we will see. Next up we will build Bowser's airship, but there is so many other sets too. We've got Ninjago and Minecraft, so bear with the squirrels as we try to catch through all this. Pretty impressive builds today. If you like the video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamant. And don't forget to check out Squirrel Stampede's new gaming channel, link down below. Thanks for watching, that's all we have to say about that.